and I'm going to click in to make the map bigger. And in Animal Far, you'll see the Mars party here. She's in Dalaran. So I'm going to go Dalaran. She's this green dot here is her. So I'm going to right click on her green dot and go to Track Player. Click it in again to make my map small. Tour. So it's really good if you gotta find a party member to help them out or whatever. Be kind to lose. Another thing you can do with it is this. So there's somewhere you want to go, and somebody's giving you the coordinates for it. Like for example, there's this good fishing spot right down in here. I think that's it. Right there. So what I can go do is I can you know leave myself there. That's what you want to go to. And if you track a player, you've got to remove them from tracking or takes priority to everything else that you're doing. So I'll remove players from tracking. There you go. Now I'm just going to show my go to. And I'm just going to take a random flight path to get close to it. Sometimes it will show you the flight path you need to take to get the closest. Sometimes it won't. Uh, I think it largely depends on your flying skill. I like with flying, so you know, often it's uh, better just to fly there myself and just make the flight path. As you can see, while you're flying, it will show you the flight time left. But this isn't necessarily accurate. It's based, again, just on your speed and the direction you're headed. So, you know, some flight paths are kind of roundabout and just retarded, and it won't be accurate then. But it can still give you a basic idea of how long it takes you to get where you're going, which is good if you know you have people in the race or people are waiting for you. Just take the green fields and get where you need to go. You can see here on the map, it shows a little arrow just like on the mini map. That is, you know, where I'm at. So, you know, the place I have on the go to, where I'm going, no arrows between it. Which can be very useful because, among other things, it shows you what's in your flight path. So, you know, if you're going to go over an area where you need to be worried about PvP encounters or if there's any other stuff you need to get in the way. Also, another thing you can do, I'll show you right now, is you right click your map and go to show in the drop down menu. And if you're a miner, you can go to herbs too, but I'm a miner, so I'm going to click show mining locations. And it will show the spawn points for all the mining nodes in my area, which in this area is cobalt. One thing I will show you that you have to do in order to get those is you go to your mini map icon for carbonite, which is a big C in this. Right click it and go to options. Carbonite takes up a fairly good amount of memory, but most computers should be able to run it if you don't have a lot of other add-ons. And personally, though I use a ton of add-ons, if you don't have any other add-ons, I would recommend, you know, after Recount and Omen and Deadly Boss mods, I would definitely recommend Carbonite. I can't live without it. It will make you so lazy, which, you know, ultimately can be a good thing. Because <laughs> let's face it, you're playing a game, you don't Here's my fishing spot that I like. Now, if I want to find this again, all I have to do is I go to my Carbonite mini map icon and go to show favorites after I right click it. Okay, and I already have some in here. I'm going to make a new one though. Okay, I click on notes, I right click it, and go to add folder. I'm going to call it fishing location. Click on that so it's highlighted. Right click again and go to 
to add faces. And here I'm going to type um, dragon fin angelfish. Because I think that's the only fish I get here. Okay. So now the favorite's created. I click on it. The favorite. And I click record. Now if I want this to lead me to this place again, I type in the code slash slash carb, C-A-R-B, space, go to, and then I look at my current location. The coordinates for carb and I are displayed on the top of your mini-map right now. So I'm going to type 39.9, comma, space, 69.8, and and I click the record. It's done recording. The coordinates, one thing you need to know is they're independent to the area you're in. So, for example, Dragon Blight and Sholazar Basin are going to have complete diff completely different coordinates. You know, so 39.9, 69.8, like I'm at here in, you know, this area, Dragon Blight, is going to be a completely different place than 39.9, 69.8 somewhere else. So just keep that in mind. You have to zone in. So I'm going to close that out and I'm choose the feature here. And then get out of here and just go somewhere else. Okay, so we're over here now. So let's say I'm just questing around and I decide I want to farm some fish. So go to my mini map icon, right click it, go to show favorites, right here. You know, and I find and highlight dragon fin angelfish. And when I highlight it, you notice an arrow popped up. Right? So, I'm following the arrow. And it's going to lead me right back to the place I was. And I'm going to hit record. Another thing you can do, you go to your map and let's say you find a drop somewhere, or just something you find of interest. What you can do go to it, well, let's say I find this place right here interesting, whatever it is. I can right click it and go to add note. Type the name of the note because there's nothing there. So now you've got nice little notes. It's going to help you keep track of different things. Another thing Carbonite will do is it will let you know when an enemy player is in the area. This will show up in your chat. Over here there's none now, so it's not going to, well, here we go, if you look right here, it says Carbonite Enemy Dark is detected near you, which can be useful if you like to PvP or if you're just worried about getting ganked. Another interesting feature is if you look on your mini-map, down here at the bottom there's a little treasure chest looking thing, it says Warehouse when you highlight it, click it. For each add-on that you, or for each, sorry, I'm for each character that you have Carbonite installed on, and you have loaded that character, you can go and see them right here. I have Salvia, well, she's level 60 skills here. Click her, level 30 hunter, shows how much money she has, shows when she was last on, where she's at, XP information and honor and skills. And then I go over here where she's highlighted and it shows that she has equipped consumables she has in her bag, gems, everything in the bag, uh, which can be really useful if you have a lot of alts, um, Garth and Dalatar I'm talking to you, um, so you can see what they have without having to log on to them. Anyway, there you go. I hope you found this helpful. If anybody likes this, post a comment and you know maybe I'll make some more. Thanks.